Hey friends, we're working on my little unique desk platform here. It's an old piano. I've got my MacBook Pro and I've got a magic keyboard here that I want to connect. It's a Bluetooth keyboard. This one's a little bit older version, but this tutorial is gonna work for most of these Apple Bluetooth keyboards in connecting to your Apple products. Now, again, I've got this setup where I use the external monitor with my MacBook Pro, but most people may wanna to try to use this if they've got a little Mac mini or any kind of other external device that you want to connect to using this Bluetooth keyboard. Now, a couple of things to take note of with this specific model. I've got the power button over here on the right hand side, which we'll need to make sure we have fresh batteries in the battery tube right there. You can see we have the little case to open up and put batteries in over on that side. So make sure you do have fresh batteries in your keyboard before doing this tutorial. Okay, we're gonna jump over here onto my MacBook Pro. Now, as long as you have the same iOS running on your Mac Mini or whatever Mac that you're using or device that you're using, this should work really, really great. So we're gonna go into our system settings. Again, you can find this usually in your dock. You can also find it by going to one of your finder windows and then just look on the left-hand column for apps, click on that and go to system settings. All right, once we're in the system settings, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for Bluetooth right here. So let me click on this. And this is gonna bring up all of the things that I have available for Quick Connect. You can see I've got my AirPod Pros that I like to connect via Bluetooth. And then it's also searching for nearby devices. Okay, so at this point, we want it to search for that keyboard, but we need to have it on in order for it to do that. So I'm gonna come over here. I'm just gonna push and hold that power button for just a minute. As you can see, the green light will come on. And then if I go back over to my computer, you can see that it recognizes there is a Bluetooth keyboard here and available. Okay, as you can see, we now have this Apple wireless keyboard option that comes up after that power button's been turned on. We can click the connect button. And what this is gonna do is after just a couple seconds, it's gonna bring a code up right here. This will be unique every time. We need to type that into the keyboard so we know it's pairing correctly. And as you can see, the device is now connected. We can actually use this just like our regular normal keyboard with any of our applications. Here's a little Word document. I'm gonna just type on the keyboard here real quick. And there you go. As you can see, the keyboard is working great. I can continue to type just like this and it will show up here on the screen. So again, fairly simple, power on, make sure the batteries are fresh, go to settings, connect via Bluetooth. Hope that helps friends. If it has, hit that thumbs up button. Stay tuned, we make a ton of these little tech tutorial videos to help your life be just a little bit easier. We'll see you again on the next one.